So Google has finally released their answer to OpenAI and ChatGPT. And in this video, we're gonna take a look at Google's brand new system called BARD Bard. Let's dive into it. So Google has been working behind the scenes on an experimental conversational AI service. It's powered by something they call L-A-M-D-A, and the name they're giving it is BARD, B-A-R-D. Now, according to them, BARD seeks to combine the breadth of the world's knowledge of the power, intelligence, and creativity of their language models, and it draws information from the web to provide fresh, high-quality responses. Sounds a lot like ChatGPT. They're saying it's an outlet for creativity, a launch pad for curiosity, and it's gonna help you discover new things. They're also saying there's a focus on safety and groundedness in real world information. That's kind of one of my big problems with this whole evolution, if you will. If these systems are gathering information and they're taking this information and then they're delivering it and coming up with answers to questions, where are they really getting this information? How are they coming to these conclusions? I've actually seen that they've come to many false conclusions in the case of OpenAI and ChatGPT, where essentially the AI systems are trying to make a case for something and they get so down a rabbit hole that they come up with false information. So Google is saying that they're going to be able to keep it quality safe and grounded. We'll see. Now Google's most excited about how they can take this information and turn it into useful knowledge more efficient. Some examples that they give are, is the piano or guitar easy to learn? How much practice does it take? As of right now, BARD is brand new. We don't know the exact implications it's gonna have in search or how prominent they're gonna make it. But if it were to be one of the most prominent things in search and people started using it more than the links and things like the Google local pack and all the things that we use quite often from a search engine optimization perspective, it could have an impact on the SEO industry in some ways. That being said, there may be a new field emerging, which would be something like BARD SEO SEO or chat GPT SEO, essentially finding ways to deliver information into these AI systems so that they deliver the answers for the things that your customers are looking for, thus getting more customers. We'll see how that evolves. For right now, what's important is you understand that BART is coming out, chat GPT is coming out, open AI is out there, and we will be seeing more of these elements in the search engines, but also around the entire MarTech stack, the entire technology stack, Microsoft and Google are gonna be incorporating these AI elements into their products. We're gonna see artificial intelligence coming into Microsoft Teams meetings. We're gonna see artificial intelligence coming into calendar invites and how all of that is scheduled and much, much more. Developers and, and anything you can really imagine. So expect to see these technologies evolve. I'd love to hear from you. How do you feel about BARD? Are you excited about it? Leave a comment below. I'll be excited to chat with you. See you next time. Goodbye.